A visual foundation of the program is the scene editor. There you can create, delete, set up overlays the way you want to see them on the game screen and when recording or broadcasting. This is the preview screen, or the virtual frame. You can set up a background for it in the general settings of the program. For your convenience, you can move the frame by pressing any mouse button on an empty space or change zooming with the mouse wheel. The way of zooming can be switched in general settings. Here you can also set if the program will align overlays by grid and the grid size. Editor has several additional windows. Scene items, item properties, item settings, overlay effects. Windows can be docked to the left or to the right of the screen, while there can be only one active window in the left or the right segment. You can undock a window from the side and place it anywhere on the screen or hide it through the main menu. The editor allows setting up the appearance of the overlay quickly and easily. You can move it or change the original size of the overlay using the mouse. Overlays can be joined in a temporary group by clicking them while pressing Ctrl for further moving. For some overlays, the most useful will be the transformation function, for example for image or web browser. It is done while pressing the Ctrl button. While doing that, the program saves the proportions, but it can be switched off. You can switch it off using the menu. And to end it all off, some goodies. You can pin the overlays in the scene. It will protect them from accidental moving or changing their size. You can switch to the full screen mode, which will let you have more room for editing. Switching is done with the standard combination of Alt plus Enter.